Yes! This is what I'm talking about. Hmm. Freedom! Finally, I'm out of that office. And here we are, back at the second office. This one's way better, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Let's go get a hold of Shelby. I don't like it when my ear when my ear pokes out. I look like a little hoochie. Anyways, yeah, let's go get Shelby. Today will be day five of riding. And we also have a um, special guest out here today with us, Galloping Dave. So, as you all know about the social distancing and of some tight regulations. So I am not teaching lessons at the moment, but I decided to in barn lease Hamica. All right, looks like Dave found the girls. He's got Hamica there, <laughs> nibbling on some bushes. <laughs> And he's brought all the other girls in. Awesome. Okay, just to be clear, I am not teaching riding lessons at the time because I am doing the 30 day training program. And also due to the COVID, we have to do the social distancing and everything. But wait, Maria comes up with a clever idea. So I do have two of my students that I chose and I know because they've been working with me for years that I have confidence in them and trust that they can handle working with one of my horses and that is Hamaika. So Hamaika is in, in barn lease at the moment. I got Galloping Dave riding her and I also got Allison. So those two are taking good care of my girl, ex exercising her three, two times out of the week, which is really good. So, you know, I at least wanted to share a little bit of horse therapy, and I thought, why not? Let's do the in barn lease. Their tasks are, they are responsible to catch the horse, tack up the horse, and also throughout the week, they have a plan set out, and they have to work on that plan to reach the goal, if that made sense. Okay, they have goals throughout the week that they have to accomplish. And at the end of the week or the next week, we gather together and I evaluate to see if they have accomplished those goals. So it'll be fun to see how Dave's doing. He's been riding for the whole week now and I have not given him any instruction or anything. So. I'm eager to see what he's been learning on his own and how much progress he has accomplished. Let's go, y'all. Gotta say that ain't too bad of ground tying. I just, oh, Shelby, she's, she's doing really good ground tying. I'm like way over here and she's just standing there. All right, see, Dave's doing really good. Howdy, Dave. <laughs> so how's the journey been since you've been taking over your own lesson? Oh, we've been doing good. I've, uh, you only know, need the motivation to stick once. To get her to lope. <laughs> good. Once, once I did it, she was quite responsive. Excellent. Just posting, 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 posting. Trying to get it right. Lots of posting, catching those diagonals. Yep. All right, that's good. Well, I'm excited to see what you guys have been working on together. Yeah. It'll be great. Be back, yeah. Good. Going in both directions. <laughs> Left and right. Good, good. And Hamika, how are you feeling? You feeling good? Oh, it's just fun to be here. <laughs> Very lightly bending here, Shelby, as I'm letting Dave practice. He's about to get quizzed on physical quiz on horseback look at that very lightly i'm barely pulling and i'm doing this with one hand as i'm showing y'all <laughs> she's really getting in there good girl and see she holds the pressure too like if i hold her she's not fighting like she used to that's what you want your horse to do good girl shelby 
All right, Dave, practice time is about over. Hopefully you studied good enough. And here we go. Go ahead and stop your horse. Oh, <laughs> whoopsies. <laughs> I know. All right, let's get that game face on. So make sure she stops. Ho. Good. All right. So what I'm going to have you do is transition. So you're going to walk. Pick her up into a trot. So now don't let her move around right now, okay? <laughs> if she moves again, back her up. Back, back, back. Okay, rest your hands. All right, so transitions. You're going to do a walk, and then you're going to pick her up into the trot. When you trot, you're going to try to get on that diagonal, okay? Yeah. So we'll do the posting trot, and you're going to try to get on the diagonal right away that is your challenge dun, 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 dun. let's go ahead and track to the left so you're gonna go this way this is what's so great about riding horses you really have to social distance because either way you can't be close but close close to each other because you're on horses Okay, we're walking. Well, no, I said we're walking. I was, that's long enough, wasn't it? No, but I'm supposed to say the trot. Huh? Okay. All right, go ahead and stop. Sit back. Oh. Okay, I will tell you when to do the transitions. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Walk. All right, so what we're going to be judging on is quiet hands, leg cues, pushing the horse over, making sure she's not cutting. Okay, trot. Okay, pop quiz, are you on the correct diagonal? Huh? Are you on the correct diagonal? <laughs> okay, so we want him to rise with the outside forehand. So I'm giving him some time. You feel it? Huh? Are you on it, yes or no? No. So he's going to sit, sit, and then wait for that time to rise up. Nope. You're... Yes. I feel like usually around the curves is when he loses it because he's got to focus in turning the horse and turning his body as well. Very good! Beautiful! Good posture! Hands are good. Oh, nice! Nice! You moved her over! Very good, Dave! Okay, looks like he's still going. Good, now bring her down to the walk. Oh, hey, good job. I saw that she wanted to turn in, but you corrected her. Yeah, we have that struggle all the time. <laughs> good job. Hey, that was great. Okay, try it again. Wrong diagonal. There you go, looking good, looking good, Dave. Well, okay, we just lost it. We're stopping now, right? Yes, go ahead and stop, sit back, walk. Nice, good transition. Very good, Galloping Dave. 
Okay, now what I'm gonna have Dave do is weave backing up. Good. Good. Excellent. Looking good. There you go. Nice little light tugs. And stop. Release your reins. There you go. Woo! That was awesome. Hey, you knocked down the blue cone. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, all right, Dave. That was very nice. I like how you actually turned her butt over. You remember to use your leg cues. She moved over. You kept her going. Turned around. Kept going. Yeah, I give you two thumbs up. Okay. We have changed directions. And trot. Beautiful. Well done, Dave. Well done. Now, y'all keep in mind, Dave's goals are and dream is to become a barrel racer. He is on a mission to learn how to barrel race. He wants to improve his riding skills and become a barrel racer. Yeah! Good, looking good. Still on the correct diagonal. Excellent. Keeping her on the outside. Very nice. Haven't lost it yet. And that's great because sometimes on those turns is where we lose it. But look at that. Micah's not fighting him either. He's correcting her little misbehavior. If she wants to cut in, he's correcting her. You can see it because he lifts up his rein and uses his inside leg. Good job, guys. Okay, walk. Oh. <laughs> Good. All right. So, trot one more time. Huh? I'm going to have you trot one more time. Same direction. Same direction. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to move on to the next challenge. Back up. Perfect. There you go. That was really good. Look at that. So, Dave's challenge has been maintaining the diagonal and also knowing when he's on the correct diagonal or not. So he's starting to learn when he's not and he is working on to get on the correct diagonal. This is good, very good. I like what I'm seeing. Much progress here. And walk. Ooh, good transition. Very smooth, sir. Very smooth. <laughs> okay, next challenge is the backup. In a straight line. He's going to back up to the green, or <laughs> green, yellow, <laughs> to the purple cone. There we go. Nice. And right there is good. Excellent. Hey, that was a pretty clean line. A, a little squiggle there, but not squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Awesome. All right, turn around and head back to the yellow cone. Apply the leg pressure, kick, kick. Nice. Very good in those quiet hands. He's doing a great job. He's not really yanking. Right there, we got to add pressure because she stopped. 
Okay, okay, okay. Give her a tug, tug, tug. Hold that. There you go. And then relax. Be softer on the pool. There. Good. Good, good, good.